behind Bear Grylls. I'm in Ecuador, a country of extreme jungle and mountains. I'm going to show the skills needed to survive here. I'm in the Ecuadorian rainforest, hunting for fish. This vegetation is just the sort of place that fish like to hide, especially at this time of day now. Piranha live in these sort of streams, and they can be vicious, stripping animals that fall into the water in seconds. But that only happens when they're in large shoals of 100 or more. This pond is just too small to support that many, so it should be safe to be in. Piranhas are tasty, but they're also difficult to catch. Tell you what, they're quick, these fish. Recently, a woman was stranded in the rainforest and survived alone for two weeks by catching piranhas in a shallow river. She used only insects for bait. I need to find some shallower pools where I can really see what's on the bottom. What's happened here is you've got this jungle pool where the water level actually is dropping. And you can see on the bank the level that the water was. I just get the camera and put it into the water. You should be able to see them swimming around. Imagine a thousand of those. You can see why I just stripped the flesh of a human in seconds. Razor sharp teeth. And this guy is pretty well dead and he still has the power to go straight through this. It's essential piranha are cooked thoroughly because they can carry harmful parasites. I've got a little cooking rack here. And on it, I've got my fern fronds bubbling away. And I've boiled these a couple of times and just changed the water just to make sure they're really well cooked. And I've got some the other fern fronds cooking uh, in these bamboo sections here. And then wrapped in these leaves, I've got my piranha that I've caught. And these should be, should be ready now. And look, there you go, those are those nasty teeth grinning away at me. But that, that smells great. <laughs> 